In recent years, the bird trapping along the Egyptian Mediterranean coast uh, has gone out of hands. Um, new techniques have become, become available. The law enforcement uh, didn't happen and uh, we are now facing huge numbers of birds being trapped there every year and with potential to get even worse. So German citizens are really concerned about it and we've just collected 100,000 signatures to uh, the Egyptian government but also to the German government to work to stop this bird slaughter. NABU is the biggest German uh, bird conservation organization and it's partner of BirdLife International in Germany. And we work uh, in Egypt with uh, the BirdLife partner organization over there, Nature Conservation Egypt, and of course with all the players concerned with that topic. This meeting at AEWA is really important to bring together all the stakeholders uh, who have an interest in the topic and who have uh, tools and possibilities to change things. So we're very glad that we uh, have lots of representatives from Egypt here, uh, from the government, but also from NGOs in Egypt. And we're very happy that we have somebody to talk to and somebody uh, we can work with to tackle the problem. Yeah, I think this uh, meeting is very well placed to decide what needs to be done uh, to stop the unsustainable bird slaughter or bird catching in Egypt. And there have been made very good proposals and I hope we can agree on them now. The first step is obviously to get our facts and science right. As we've noticed, for years nobody has ever checked anything and the reports we get is that things have gone completely out of hand. We have to check that, we have to find out which species are really uh, endangered because of the practices going on there. That's the first step. The second step is also we have to establish what is actually legal, what is illegal and um, is the problem that the laws are not good enough or is the problem that they are not enforced. And uh, the, the next really important step is also the education of the people because many people they just don't know what impact their doings have. So uh, they see lots of birds, they catch a few of them but they don't know that many other people do the same and there's actually a limited amount of birds and this is something that has to be addressed and I'm very glad to see that uh, our partners in, in Egypt also see it that way. So bird migration and killing of migratory birds is definitely an international issue where we have to work together. So we can't do it without people in Egypt, in Libya, in the countries where this particular problem is happening. Uh, but we also need to work with uh, the people from the countries where the birds are actually coming from, and uh, not forgetting that there's bird killing, legal and illegal, also going on in our countries. Um, but very many people are concerned about uh, the bird killing in the Mediterranean because it's the birds, it's our birds, the German birds, the European birds that are uh, concerned and that's where the pressure can come from and that's also where the funding can come from to actually solve the problem in Egypt or in Libya. So this is why uh, NABO has started the uh, petition that was also to, to give all the concerned people in, in Europe uh, uh, an outlet for all their concerns so they could do something, they could sign the petition and it was very easy for us to collect 100,000 signatures which we uh, can now present to the authorities in Egypt but also to the authorities in Germany and everything we're going to do now we can always say 100,000 people have specifically supported us to do this and this is not only a, an idea of some crazy conservationists but this is really a topic that very many people are concerned about.